Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Welcome to this episode of Bible Talk with Brother Luke. Uh, today we're continuing uh, in our study uh, on the book More Than a Carpenter by Josh McDowell. And this is uh, episode number seven. If you didn't see the first six episodes, uh, they are uploaded and available on my YouTube channel, Sin City Preacher. So I really hope you will watch it from the beginning. But we're going to pick up where we left off, uh, and that will be at the beginning of chapter six in this book. It's only 128 pages, and we're already on 72, page 72. So I'm estimating the entire uh, thing will probably be about uh, 10 or 12 episodes, which is probably around uh, 20 or 24 uh, hours of discussion. All right, I'm having a good time. How about you guys? Uh, why don't you say hi to everybody before we get started? Brother Joe? Yeah, this is uh, Joe with the Dresden channel, the uh, Sebastian Dresden channel. And uh, my channel is uh, primarily for fellowship and learning, uh, not so much teaching. But uh, I've got a few videos on there that might make you think outside the box if you're so inclined. Uh, the essentials uh, that Luke has pasted on his uh, home page, I'll be putting on mine. I keep forgetting to do it. But we're all in agreement on the essentials. And so uh, back to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brother Ted, say hi to everybody. Hi, my name is Tedford Hyde. I'm here in Lubbock, Texas. And my YouTube channel is God's Truth Ministries. And I've uh, been joining recently by phone on this, but uh, I have some internet access today. I'm able to join. Uh, I'm looking forward to the study on More Than a Carpenter. All right, thank you. Well, let's get started then. Uh, I, by the way, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, Ted or Joe's channels, I, I hope you will subscribe to their channels. Now, uh, beginning with Chapter 6, the title is, What Good is a Dead Messiah? Uh, a lot of people have died for a good cause. Look at the student in, in San Diego who burned himself to death protesting against the Vietnam War. In the 60s, many Buddhists burned themselves to death in order to bring world attention to S Southeast Asia. The problem with the apostles is that their good cause died on the cross. They believed Jesus to be the Messiah. They didn't think he could die. They were convinced that he was the one uh, to set up the kingdom of God and to rule over the people of Israel. Uh, let's pause there and get your thoughts. Uh, Brother Joe, I'm going to call on you randomly, so always be ready. Brother Joe? <laughs> well, I'm never really ready. Uh, I think this is, you'll have to excuse the blower in the background. My landscapers have shown up. Uh, you know, this is another proof uh, to me. Uh, that the people uh, who wrote the Bible and who witnessed the resurrection uh, had no idea it was coming. Uh, now, it was prophesied in the Old Testament with, uh, I forget how many, maybe you or Ted remember, but I, somewhere in the neighborhood of 360 very specific prophecies that, that foretold uh, the Lord's life uh, when, when he was on earth. But uh, nobody expected him to die. Uh, they expected him to become a king and, and rule. And furthermore, nobody expected him to raise himself from the dead. And uh, that is a foundation stone of our faith. So uh, this book does a good job of proving the fact that that did happen. Back to you, Luke. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. good. Brother Ted, what are your thoughts so far? Yeah, look, and as, uh, before I get into that, I just want to say when you were doing the introduction, uh, we couldn't see you. We could only see your uh, your logo, your avatar. So I don't know if you planned it that way, but that's fine. Uh, but uh, anyways, what I was going to say in, in, in reference to the, your introduction in the last lesson, uh, one of the things was, you know, like like Josh McDowell points out, what is what is what do you use is a dead Messiah? And uh, one of the emphasis of last study was, uh, you know, the changed lives of the disciples. That they wouldn't have been going, uh, to, willing to go to, to be tortured and killed uh, for something that they, uh, you know, conspiratorially uh, uh, contrived together, or even as individuals to to cover up them stealing the body or anything like that. This was truly because of their changed lives, because of their knowledge 
of the absolute fact that Christ did rise from the dead. They had seen him. Uh, John even wrote in his gospel, we, we've handled him, we've touched the word of life, you know, Jesus Christ himself. So they were convinced, and as the Bible points, points out, by his resurrection, uh, by many infallible proofs. I like that line. So, yeah, looking forward to this. All right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I wanted to say this in the beginning. I'm glad that you mentioned the last uh, study because Chapter 6 in uh, this book here by Josh McDowell, Chapter 6, we studied it, I'm sorry, Chapter 5. Uh, we did that in the last session, and I, I think that was one of the most important studies I've ever done here on eight years on YouTube. Um, so I, I really urge everybody, if you don't watch anything else, go back and watch this last study um, talking about the resurrection. Um, but now today, the, the, the point that he's made initially is it seems like they expected him to live and set up a kingdom. They didn't expect him to die. The crazy thing about that is that um, these Jewish people, not only the Pharisees, the great the, uh, religious leaders, but just the common person, they were great students of the scriptures. And uh, they, they should have been aware that the Messiah would die because it is prophecy. If you look at Isaiah 53, Psalm 22, and there's others that tells us that he will die, and there's also scriptures talk, telling about the resurrection. So not only do we find the death, burial, and resurrection of the Messiah in the prophecies, but we also Jesus told them from the very beginnings of his ministry over and over again, right at the beginning, the first chapter of John, he they asked him for a sign, and he said, "This sign, the uh, the sign I'll give you is destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up." And they thought he was talking about the building, the temple in Jerusalem. And they said, "Well, it took our fathers forty years to build the temple. How can you raise it up again in three days?" And he was he. It says in this right there that he was ref referring to his death, burial, and resurrection. So he, he did uh, tell them over and over again, but for some reason, maybe you guys have a theory about this, is why they, they kept on just like um, uh, acting like they never heard that. Uh, Brother Joe? Well, yeah, it's, it's ironic because as we look back over the history of the, of the uh, Jewish nation uh, since the time of Abraham, uh, Israel as a nation, has a, a propensity to stone their prophets. And then once they're dead, a generation removed, and prophecies start coming true, they put them on a pedestal and revere them. Uh, you remember half of uh, the, all of the people Moses uh, took out of Egypt uh, were, were uh, in or near rebellion. And, uh, uh, you know, here we are uh, uh, several generations later, and the law of Moses is what rules everybody's life. Uh, yeah, the, the Elijah, you name it, all of the prophets were, were uh, not accepted greatly in their own time and then revered uh, later after their prophecies come true. Uh, so uh, Christ was no exception. As a matter of fact, Stephen, Jesus, and Paul all made very, uh, very compelling arguments to the leaders uh, regarding how they always uh, dispose or dispatch of their prophets only to, to uh, revere them in later ages. So oh, Christ is no exception except this time it's going to be some 2,000 years before they uh, they realize what they've done. Yeah, that's very interesting. I, I'd like to ask Brother Ted to respond to basically three things here. The, the point I made about the the prophecies in the Old Testament that they should have been familiar with did tell about the death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus warned them and told them this was going to happen repeatedly. And then Brother Joe brought